The One Acadiana Workforce and Education Committee had its first health care panel discussion at the height of the pandemic back in April of 2020. We knew as healthcare disciplines that we were gonna see a, a heightened need for, uh, for respiratory therapy, not only in the hospitals, but also for home care and outpatient arenas. The partnership between Oshner Lafayette General, LSUE, and Acadiana Workforce Commission is really quite special. We have launched a one-of-a-kind long-term training program program with the Acadiana Workforce Commission in order to increase the number of non-traditional students and underserved students entering into respiratory therapy. Acadiana Workforce, along with its partners, uh, design a customized training agreement to build a career path into the respiratory care program. It was important for us to be innovative because if we would have looked in the box of a traditional workforce customized training agreement, this particular program wouldn't have fit into that box. We started discussing opportunities using a very innovative and immersive approach. This collaboration was at the level of how can we all partner together to have a shared investment in the future of respiratory therapy. And so our focus was quite different than what you would have seen uh, pre-pandemic, where academia trained and employers hired we came together in a collaborative approach to look at how we can have a shared partnership to where LSUE then provides an expansion program for the respiratory therapist and Oshner Lafayette General will provide the on-site clinical rotations and that apprenticeship piece. We allow our students not only to get free tuition through this program, but they also get a, a wage to earn while you learn in your training. It's the very first type of customized training program uh, and apprenticeship program for the Acadiana region, but also for the state of Louisiana. We pay for tuition, books. We also provide supportive services, which will include uniform costs of tests, transportation costs, and anything that will assist the participant to obtain training or obtain employment. This program is different from other allied health programs at LSUE in number one, the fact that it incorporates this apprenticeship. It's a longer term project. The scope of this project is actually three years in length, following the students from the time they enter the prerequisites through the acceptance into the program and then passing the boards and being able to be ready for employment. This program will start in the fall of 2023. Job seekers have two major challenges. One of the major challenges is the ability to access resources. The second challenge is preparation. We believe that this project will combat both of those barriers. This program is targeting historically underserved populations, and that is the BIPOC population, veteran, active military, underskilled, incumbent workers, perhaps those people that are just now considering a career in allied health. So we're casting a wide net, but the key part is that we want our students, these new apprentices, to reflect the populations that they're going to serve. The opportunities to use this as a model for other programs is enormous. With the investment of industries, higher ed, and a workforce system, this model could be utilized in developing any type of high demand career path. It'll be very interesting to see how we can apply this apprenticeship in respiratory care to nursing, to surgical technology, to uh, radiology, uh, diagnostic medical sonography, a whole host of allied healthcare professions. I see it as nothing but a win-win for every single partner that, that's involved. It's a win for our community, and we're very, very proud to be a part of this partnership, and we know that we're giving good value to the students that come to us. 
This program connects back to the One Acadiana 55 by 25 goal in that it assists in increasing the number of the mature group, age group, um, who want to go back to school and get um, a post-secondary degree or some type of certifications. We believe that this program is going to reach people who never sat at this table before. And that is my proudest moment to be able to give someone hope. We really are excited about this program in the fact that it's gonna be an outreach for our families in Acadiana who truly need our support to be able to get the education they need to be able to further caring for their families in Acadiana. And um, so we feel that uh, for us, this supports 55 by 25's initiative for One Acadiana.